Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Coach Bobby, with Ultimate Muscle Confusion, here to give you another episode of Motivation Inspiration Weekly going into 2016. It's Wednesday, uh, December 30th, guys. That's right. One more day. One more day of 2015, and then it's a new year, guys. 2016, a new chance to grow and learn and improve. All right. In the last episode, I asked you to do one thing, guys. One thing. I asked you to give me one assignment, all right? And that was to do what? That was to figure out what your why is, right? What is your why? Why do you want to get in shape? Why do you want to get more healthy? Figure out what that is. So I hope you've given some thought to that and come up with one or two main reasons why 2016 is going to be the year you get in better shape, right? A strong enough why that's going to propel you through the year to get you out of bed when you're tired, to get you into the gym when you don't want to go, to get you on that trail or the street to do a run when you're not ready to do it. Now, we have a new opportunity, guys, to grow and learn. All right, number two, assignment number two. We know the why. We know the why. Now, the what? All right, so before we embark on this journey, this long journey toward our fitness goals, right, and, and, and we have a reason to do that, now we got to figure out where we're going, right? And that's the what. What do we want? Okay, what do we want? Right? Be very clear, very clear in our, our, our heads, in our minds, the what we want to accomplish. Okay. Uh how big do we want to be? How small do we want to be? What size pants? Uh how big do we want our arms to be? You know, have a picture, a clear picture of, of how you want to be health-wise. What do you want your, your blood test to look like? What do you want your cholesterol to be? All those things that are important to you. All the reasons that you began this journey, uh, I want you to have a clear vision of what that is, okay? And I got to be honest, guys. I got to be honest. Um, as far as a why for fitness, I have a strong why, okay? I have a reason why I want to be uh, what I want to be. I'll share that later, but just know that for 20-plus years, I've been training, and my why has been strong enough to propel me, okay? The what has been strong enough to get me to where I want to go. I've always had a strong what as to what I want to accomplish. When I was younger, I wanted to bench press a certain number of pounds. I wanted to run a certain 40-yard dash. When I was done playing football in college, my what became, okay, I want to be a, an inspiration to young people. I want people to see a person that is physically fit but also has an academic background so that kids who are young can see a person that can, can juggle two worlds, so to speak. A person that can be multidimensional. That was my goal. I didn't want to just be somebody who was just uh, a gym rat or or, or, or a gym head uh, or somebody who was on the other end of it who was an academic, right? I want to be somebody who who combined the two worlds and and gave young people, especially minority young people, uh, a role model. So, but I gotta be honest, guys. I gotta be honest. You know, my what as far as outside of of the physical realm. Uh, has not been as clear, has not been as crystallized because, to be honest, you know, what held me back and what holds many of you back is fear. I got to be honest, guys. It took me, this is my fifth take doing this video, okay? I'm not sure many of you know this, but I've had a fear of speaking my entire life. I grew up with a stutter, and so my entire life I've had a fear of speaking. And so for me, you know, I've always wanted to be, uh, a motivational speaker. I've always wanted to use a platform of sports, uh, or in this case now, as I'm older, physical fitness as a platform to get the attention of people to to deliver other messages besides lifting weights or playing football. I wanted to use that, you know, use my physique, use my my athletic ability, use my physical uh, prowess, so to speak, uh, as a avenue, as a platform to communicate and and motivate people, but. For years, the barrier has been the fact that I've been afraid to do it, right? I've been on the sideline afraid to do it because, you know, what if they laugh at me? What if I don't sound good? Right now, I'm looking at the camera, and I'm saying to myself, I don't look great on camera. So we all have these fears that hold us back. But you know what? 2016, enough of that crap. No more of that crap, all right? We're going to move forward, right, regardless of fears. It's, we're done being a backup, okay? We're done being the, the freshman or sophomore quarterback uh, on the varsity team that wants to play, but deep down inside is afraid that he's not ready to be put in the game, okay? So we sit back on the sideline in fear, in fear of failure, in fear of success in some, in some ways. So, but no more of that, guys. 
if people laugh at us because we, we, we dream big, so be it. So for this assignment, I want you to figure out what your what is, okay? And I don't care if we know how to get there, okay? I don't care if we know uh, that it's possible, all right? All I want you to do is envision, okay, in a perfect world, what do I want, right? Don't think about possibilities. Don't think about what people around you will say or what's expected of you. I want you to figure out what the what is, okay? Sit down and, and, and really think about what you want to be like at the end of 2016, okay? How, how do you want to look? How much do you want to weigh? How strong do you want to be? What image do you want to portray to the outside world, to your friends, to your family, okay? Sit down, figure out what it is, okay? So then we'll have the why we're doing what we're doing, and we'll have the what, okay? So figure out, again, write down what the why is. That was assignment number one. You know, figure out the reason you're doing this. And number two, in this assignment, I want you to write down before the end of this year, which is one more day, figure out what you want, okay? And then have that written down, and in our next discussion, we're going to go over that, okay? So why and what? Why and what? Okay? One more day, guys, of 2015, and we're going to roll right into 2016. All right? Until next time, maybe a few days from now, um, this is Coach Bobby wishing you a happy new year. And, again, reminding you that, that next year is going to be our year. All right? BTY, better than yesterday, is going to turn into BT15. Right? Better than 20, 2015. 2015. All right, until next time, this is your boy, Coach Bobby. Talk to you soon.